Hi everyone, I'm Alan, founder of WakaTime. WakaTime provides dashboards and automated metrics for programmers using open source IDE plugins. I'm gonna talk about how you don't need Redis. Uh, with Redis, you can only store as much data as you can fit in RAM. Today, I'll show how we can use disk space instead to cache much larger data sets. Feel free to reach out and contact me by email or find me on Twitter. So here's the walk time dashboard or leaderboard, sorry. Um, loading this leaderboard used to take over 30 seconds because we had to query the code stats for over 10,000 developers. Uh, that's unusable actually, 30 seconds. Uh, so we definitely had to figure out how to, to fix this. Uh, so let's solve this problem together. We start by caching the page in Redis, the awesome in-memory data structure storage server Wakatime uses DigitalOcean, so I'll boot up a $100 per month server and set up Redis on it. Uh, this gives us about 16 gigabytes of RAM to cache the leaderboards. And we write a function get leaderboard from Redis cache. We pre-cache the leaderboard page in Redis. It's a simple uh, get by key for the leaderboard. Uh, we can't just cache the main leaderboard, however, uh, because we have permut permutations of leaderboard by language, by hireable badge, by country flag, and we have up to 100 pages of each of these permutations. Each per permutation is 100, about 140 kilobytes, so uh, times 622 languages times 250 countries, times 100 pages. That's a total of two terabytes of data that we have to cache. Uh, thankfully, we can compress that down though to about 24 kilobytes per page, uh, but still that's uh, about 363 gigabytes of data that we have to cache. 300 gigabytes is much more than that 16 gigabytes of RAM we have. So, um, on our on our DigitalOcean droplet here, the RAM that we have available won't be enough to cache all of those leaderboards. So what do we do? Uh, we could upgrade to a two thousand dollar per month instance that gives us uh, two hundred fifty six gigs of RAM, but our three hundred and seventy three gigabyte data set still won't fit in that two hundred fifty six gigabytes of RAM. So the solution is something called SSDB. SSDB is a drop-in replacement for Redis that uses disk space instead of RAM to store your data set. SSDB uses LevelDB but, from Google, but it uh, can also use Facebook's fork of um, a LevelDB called uh, RocksDB. And LevelDB and RocksDB use uh, SS table key value library um, or key value table that uh, is written by Google based on Bigtable. And using um, an SS table, you can, uh, SSDB is able to look up keys on disk with a single seek. So it makes it its performance on par with Redis actually. So now we can use this uh, storage optimized instance from DigitalOcean for $155 per month instead of 2000. And it comes with 450 gigabytes of SSD and VME storage, uh, plenty of room for our 300 gigabyte data set. And we just saved uh, about $1,800 per month by uh, not using Redis. And because SSDB works with your existing Redis clients, you don't need to update any code. You just change the IP address of, of your server uh, and point it to the SSDB instead of Redis, and nothing else needs to change. There are some limitations, however, uh, with SSDB. Uh, there are and some differences between SSDB and Redis. Uh, so SSDB can only um, expire uh, simple keys. Uh, actually, let me start with the with. There's no Lewis uh, function support. Uh, there are some command changes, uh, like some. Commands are renamed uh, ZAD and ZSET and some others um, as well. And uh, the the most probably the most cumbersome thing is that um, SSDB can only expire simple key value strings. 
uh, not HMAP or lists, but you can always uh, manually delete them uh, with one command, uh, same as Redis. So um, bearing in mind those limitations, uh, there it's it's SSDB is very uh, simple to configure. It has less config op options than Redis, and therefore it's it's extremely simple to set up. Uh, just make sure to increase your Linux machine's file max so settings so the SSDB can open enough sockets and file handles to be performant. And also remember to run the SSDB CLI compact command to reclaim disk space from deleted or expired keys. And I've uh, included a handy one-liner one -liner for that compact command here that uh, makes it easy to run from a cron script because normally it blocks on user input. Uh, but this this gets around that, so you can run it automated. Uh, that's those are, these are the two things you have to remember with SSDB. And if you're wondering if using SSDB instead of RAM or SSDs instead of RAM, SSDB actually performs better on average than Redis when writing keys, and about the same when reading. And uh, that's that's it for me. And uh, thank you for having me.